Hello everyone. Welcome back to Sisterhood Book Club. With your girl, Sister Girl. Alright, today I'm going to do this review on First Grade to the Right. As you can see, I don't have the book. It was a library book. But I tell you, I really enjoyed it. I had to return it. I was going to try to read it again, but couldn't. Someone else wanted to read it. But I am going to go and get my own copy. Okay, so here we go. Murder was the case that they gave her. Three dead people standing at the end of Charlie Davidson's bed. At the crack of dawn. Not just any three. Lawyers that has been murdered. As she tried to focus from waking up, her cell starts to ring and it's no one else but her uncle, the cop. Now her uncle, he's a loving uncle. And he's telling her, Oh, Charlie, we got a we got a murder here. We got more than one murder. And she already knows this because the murder ones are standing right by her bed. And they're talking to her, they're talking to each other. She can't focus on what her uncle is saying because they're chatting, he's chatting and it's just a big mess. But the way when you read the book, the way that she described it when it first starts off, you you really like puzzle like, whoa, what is, who is she talking to? Because she's holding a conversation with these people and you're not like, okay, but then when it gets down to detail, you say, Oh my goodness. Is 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 really interesting. Charlie is a PI slash Green Reaper. Yeah, I said it right. She's a private investigator and a Green Reaper. She's been a Green Reaper from birth. Giving birth to Charlie, her mother passed away and crossed through her. She had to keep the secret of being a GR just between her father and uncle. If not, she will be put in some padded walls. You know what padded walls I'm talking about. That's just the tip of the iceberg, though. It, that's, that's not even giving you a whole lot of details of what's really going on. She has this mean stepmother when, when after her mother passed, her father got married again, and she thought she could tell her stepmother what was going on, and she was just a little bitty thing. She was like in elementary when her first, you know, sighting of this little girl was actually um, came up um, dead and she was telling the lady that her daughter was okay or whatever and I mean her stepmother actually like went off on her and told the father that she was crazy and she didn't want to she didn't want to hear about it anymore and just, you know, leave her alone. She never liked Charlie, but she liked her other sister. She has another, she has a sister, but she, she never liked it her. So, but like I said, that's just the tip of the iceberg of what's going on in her life when she was like growing up. Her hands is full, not just with three amigos, but also with the night visit of a shadow figure that comes and visit her at nighttime. And every time he comes, he leaves her with the whisper of a name. And he calls her Dutch. Y'all heard me? Dutch. It's not, it's not a coincidence that he's doing this, that he's calling her this, she knows this as time goes on, so she gives clues by flashbacks. She has flashbacks of this name Dutch, of how she got this name. She has her sassy PFF secretary to work it out while she handles the other case. So she throws clues at her secretary and tells her to look this up, look that up, look this up. So it comes 
to a, a, a head. Everything comes to a head. Everything comes together. And it's just a shocking ending. When I say a shocking ending, oh, my God. Oh, you just won't believe who this person is. It was just, I tell you, this book was a page turner. And, oh, my goodness. Y'all have to read this book. I'm telling y'all. A Green Reaper is a full-time job. Just trying to get the dead to cross is more than a notion. She talked, she, she, what she does, she solved the murder, and she, these are the ones that comes to her. But she has some that is not murder that comes to her, that she tries to make them cross over. Some will cross and some, and others won't. So they have a, have a choice. But she talks them, she talks the majority of them to cross over. Charlie um, has some dead people still roaming her apartment just on visitation alone. She has her auntie that passed away. She still thinks she's alive. <laughs> then she has this um, neighbor across the hall from her. He still think he's alive. They will not cross over. They come and visit each other, and then they come and visit Charlie. It is just so funny, y'all. Y'all have to read this book. It is This book is hilarious. Charlie has a special ability to communicate with them, but she has to do it in her own private place, like her house or her office behind closed doors. She And her father even owns a restaurant. She goes to the restaurant, and she sits in the back, it, um, it's like a dark spot in the back, and she sits there and she talks to whoever she may have to talk to about the cases and all this stuff. So it's it's just, uh, you know, Charlie is not a green reaper that you see on TV. You know how you see the t the, the person in the black cape and the thing, you know, the, the thing that they hold and stuff like that? She don't look like that. She She look like you and I. So if she don't tell her secret, then she don't. The secret is just her secret. So you would never know. And when she did tell her BFF her secret, she thought her BFF was gonna like kick her to the curb and be like, "You crazy?" But her BFF understood, understood what she was saying, and she was very understanding. She's a sweetheart. The BFF is a sweetheart. First Grade to the Right is a novel that is a page-turner with scenes and characters that's very unforgettable. Overall, I give First Grade to the Right four Green Reapers. Four. Now, her next book is coming out. It's going to be called Second Grade to the Left. To the Left. <laughs> you should check it out. You really should check this out. This is going to be a series. So I'm telling you, in the second grade to the left, I have, um, I think it's next, if I'm not mistaken, it's next month it's coming out. Or it could be already out. Don't quote me on that, but look it up. I highly recommend this book without no regrets at all. You will not regret it. You, you have to take this book lightly, and you can't take it so heavily and be like, oh, no. You ha the book is a light read. It's good. It's a page turner. I'm telling you, it's a page turner. And I mean, it caught me like right off the bat. Bam, bam, bam. And I was done with it. All right, but you know, I have to get my thoughts together and all that to give this to y'all. Okay, so I hope I did a good job. God bless. And I hope y'all check it out. Remember, first grade to the left. Talk to you later. God bless. Bye bye.